Hello and a very good day everyone. So right now what we will learn is we will learn power query. So in this given data, we do have a training data where we have the respective training courses and these fictional names. So basically what I want to do is I want to transform my data and I want to know that which employee has the mandatory training. Because if we look in this particular file, we do have a training worksheet whereby following are the training courses and as you can see over here, these are the respective names. So if you notice, we do have a M which means a mandatory training and we do have a R which means a recommended training. So in these cases, basically I want to know which employees have a recommended and mandatory training. So in this case, if you just say I want to know a mandatory training and also I want to know the recommended training, how am I supposed to do it? So let's get started. So what I'll do is, first thing is I'll press Ctrl N. When I press Ctrl N, basically it will create a new Excel file. And then what I do is I go to data and I get data and I click from file and I click from Excel workbook. So once I click from Excel workbook, so I need to choose which file. So basically I want to choose this particular file and I press import. So once I press import, you will notice that a big box will appear and then I select training and then I go to transform data. So once I go to transform data, it is a transform data where I will do the data transformation. So basically this is our data. So what I want is basically I want in one column, I want the company name. In one column, I want the employee's name. So I go to transform and I click transpose. So like right now, you see here, here we have the company name and we do have the employee name. But if you look here carefully, we do have all here null. So what we do is we need to remove the null. We need to make sure that all this data is filled down. So how we do is we press right click and then we press to fill and then we press down. So when we press fill down, it will fill down automatically. And then if you look here carefully, we have column 1, column 2, column 3. So what I want to do is I want to use first row as header so that it will promote the first row as the header. So once I click this, so right now you have the company, the employees and the respective training courses. So what I want to do is I want to have another column which shows the training courses respectively. So instead of appearing as a header or row, I want to appear as a co column. So I will select these first two columns, press right click and I will go to unpivot other columns. Unpivot is a feature whereby it will transpose the header into a one column. So I want to unpivot the un other columns so that it will become all the cases or all the courses will be in one column. So right now, if you see here, we do have the company, we do have the employees, we do have the courses and we do have whether it is recommended or whether it is a mandatory training. So what I'll do is I'll just press right click and then I'll press duplicate. So right now over here, what I'll do is I'll just try to rename this. I'll put this as a company name and then here over here, I'll put as employee, employee. And over here, we do have uh, courses, the training courses that they need to attend. And then over here is the status, whether it's a mandatory training or recommended training. So I'm going to do the same thing as well. So what I've done is I've created a duplicate between these two tables. So this table, what I want is I only want the mandatory training. So I'll just remove the recommended and I press OK. And then what I do is instead of showing M, I just want to replace the values. So instead of just showing M, I just want to put it as mandatory. And I press OK. So once I press OK, so now it becomes a mandatory training. So I'm going to do the same thing. So over here, I want to remove the M so that I want to have a recommended training. And I'll do what I replace value. So I'll just click R and replace with recommended. And I press OK. So right now you see here, we do have recommended training. So here I'll just put as M and here I'll just put as R for recommended. And then what I'll do is I'll go to home and I press close and load. So once I press close and load, you will notice that we will do have two database. This database for recommended training, this database for mandatory training. So the exciting part is if just say 
I want to go here and I want to actually change. So basically what I want to do is I want to change this name, all this data as mandatory. So I just put here as mandatory. I'm going to copy this and paste it all over here. And for the last name, I just want to put recommended. So I'll just put recommended, drag it, control R, control D. So if you see here, this, we have a new list like public speaking and video editing. For some employees, it's mandatory and for some employees, it is recommended. So what I do is once I have updated the figures, I press control S so that it will save the file. And then I will go to this data over here. You can actually press right click and you press refresh or you can go to data and you click refresh all. So once you press refresh all, so we can see that public speaking skill has been mandatory for some employees. And if we go to this recommended sheet, we will notice that for some employees that public speaking will be recommended.